My name is Lachlan, and today I'm going to talk about the octopus. This is an octopus. Octopuses, and it is octopuses, or octopodes, otherwise it would be a Latin plural for a Greek word, are amazing creatures. They can change color, shape, and texture. They can use tools. Their tentacles have so many neurons that they practically have minds of their own. When scientists first began to study octopuses, they found that octopuses would act in a variety of ways and possessed a great curiosity about how things worked. They also found that they were very good at escaping and that they could move very quickly on land. Octopuses would break levers, unscrew light bulbs, play with the equipment, and shoot jets of water at the scientists. A few years ago, octopus Inky escaped from the New Zealand National Aquarium uh, when the lid of his tank was left slightly open. He is thought to have slid three or four feet across the floor and then down a 50 meter, three or four meters, then down a 50 meter drain pipe leading to the ocean. At the New Zealand National Aquarium, uh, the New England Aquarium, a puzzle was created for the octopuses to solve involving three transparent, three transparent plastic cubes, one inside another. An octopus named Truman managed to squeeze his seven-foot-long body through a two-inch crack in the 14-cubic-inch outer box and the six-cubic-inch one inside of it. That's a space of eight cubic inches. An octopus's nervous system is spread throughout their entire body, so it's like each tentacle has a mind of its own. They can also recognize specific people and they can play. People who have spent time with octopuses often say that they feel like they are being watched by an alien intelligence. However, octopuses come for a completely different evolutionary line than other animals which are thought to be intelligent, such as birds and mammals. Nor are they particularly social creatures, a complex social structure usually be being associated with intelligence. Primatologist Catherine Gibson evolved a theory about how some animals develop large brains, and this theory was later adapted by philosopher P.D. Godfrey Smith, who studies octopuses. Octopuses use a variety of strategies for catching prey, for fi finding it first, and uh, dealing with shells and other defenses. In this way, they're more like chimpanzees than, for instance, frogs, who always use the same strategy. An octopus's hunting tactic Dicks are complex and flexible. I'm fascinated by octopuses, but I've yet to meet one in the wild. I'd be interested to do that someday, because, as Professor, as uh, Peter Godfrey Smith says, meeting an octopus is probably the closest we'll ever come to meeting an intelligent alien. Thank you.